Welcome back to WTOL 11 Your Day. It's Wednesday, yeah. which means it's Amanda and Diane's Knit Along. Yeah, we took this week's show on the road visiting an alpaca farm in Swanton, all to learn how you get from animal to fiber to skein and eventually to your project. Yeah, look at that little uh, project. Get there. the crumbs. Get the crumbs. Oh, you did get the crumbs. I think it's safe to say we made some friends at Sunny Mead Alpacas. Owner Julie Verhelst cares for 26 alpacas on her farm. It started when she paired her love for animals with her graphic design skills. A farm hired me to design their logo for their farm. And I went over to the farm and saw a baby alpaca. And a month later, I owned the baby alpaca. Julie explains, because they're herd animals, you can't just have one. Hence, uh, the couple dozen that now roam the pastures and barns. Boomer. Boomer. Hey, bud. And when you feel their fiber, you understand why products made with it are so luxurious. The Incan royalty created this, the breed um, because they wanted a um, a fine fabric for themselves. A lot of um, down in South America it would be Pima cotton, but the royalty wanted their own special fabrics, so they created the alpaca breed. And we know that they aren't wild animals because they don't shed. The animals at Sunny Mead are shorn yearly in early May. They'd simply overheat if they weren't. And the shear just sits there and shears, and the and the fiber rolls off of the, the animal. And that's when Julie packs up the fiber and sends it off to a fiber mill, which turns it into bats, roving, and yarn. This would be a roving mm -hmm. and that someone would draft and spin, mm -hmm. and then they, they will make it into yarn for us. Eventually to be used in any number of things, like hats, socks, and scarves. Julie also uses the fiber for needle felting projects. She says the fiber is superior to other types of yarn, for one, because it's sustainable. It's natural fiber. It's considered hypoallergenic. She says it has a low micron count, making it very soft, and the younger the animal, the softer the fleece. It's also insulating because it's a hollow fiber. Alpacas come in 22 natural color variations. Everything from like a, a pure white to a jet black. And if you don't knit yet, you can hang out in the pasture with the animals. Sunny Mead offers alpaca goat yoga. <laughs> they were having fun scurrying off there, weren't they? Yeah, and that was just a fun day to head out to it the farm. It was, it was, and it was great to see, you know, learn all of that process. Right, yeah, especially as we are uh, not only learning a lot about knitting and teaching mm -hmm. one another, mm -hmm. but also just going from the farm to the animal to the fiber itself yeah. and, like you said, to your next project. Right, exactly, and, you know, something interesting that we learned as well was about their diet and contributing to their fiber you know and and I think when you asked Julie about it you're like you know when we take care of ourselves you know we have right. healthy skin and hair and all of that and it's kind of the same thing about the animals too. right yeah they eat a little bit of grass mm -hmm. hay and they do have a mineral uh, supplement so maybe we all need to take our vitamins but, <laughs> they yeah, don't they, they don't eat grain which we learned that too right and that kind of helps them uh, have you know a healthier kind of outcome <laughs> and she actually said that they do charity events with kind of with that. their manure yeah. yeah because there's no oats in it uh, in the manure and uh, it's very useful to a lot of farmers or and you know they use it around so yeah. we learned all sorts of stuff about alpacas and, and we have some products here this little teddy bear here is the softest it's teddy bear the softest I've ever felt. thing it's so soft that alpaca fiber right. that's made of yes and of course you can see all the different color variations right. and and all that natural color though those 22 variations yes There's a couple right here you can definitely tell it's probably you know a baby fiber it's so, it's so soft, soft. Yeah. It's yeah she so said that the younger the animal the softer the fiber too yes. so we learned that as well yes and there was also this scarf here that which of course um, Julie did some needle uh, felting, felting. Mm -hmm. So you can definitely uh, see this here in the scarf as well with those These flowers. flowers and, there. Yeah. And, and then, of course, a sweater. It's so much softer than your wool. You know, it's not going to yes. itch or scratch, but it is, as you said, insulated, so it's going to keep you nice and warm. So just some, some beautiful products here made yes. with that alpaca fiber, and we learned so much at the farm. It was yes. a lot of fun. I cannot wait to go back for our next visit. <laughs> I can't either. I'm sure she'd be happy to have us back. Maybe do some yoga this yes. time. <laughs> yeah, a little, a little more relaxing, less work. Yeah, we'll be right back with more Your Day after this. Stay with us.